everything happens for a reason is one of the most offensive statements. I don't get offended by just about anything but boy oh boy this statement. Tell that to the parents of a five-year-old child that died from leukemia because everything happens for a reason. Awful accidents and events that nobody deserved, leaving people in pain and disability for the rest of their lives. Nothing happens for a reason, it's all just a bunch of random situations, statistics and incidents. Not everything needs a huge cosmic justification, things literally just happen all day every day everywhere. Edit yes everything happens for a reason someone dies because the cars crashed, not because they suddenly just dropped dead I think that's an obvious misinterpretation of the expression and doesn't really serve as a counter argument. Edit 2 I indeed cannot talk to dead children also fixed. I feel like you were meant to post this. People said that to me after my husband died. I wanted to punch them. Life is unfair. Bad shit happens to good people good things happen to the undeserving ones. And people say statements like everything happens for a reason or it is what it is to somehow cope with all the shit in their own ways. It sucks perfect score. I agree with how you put it, but this quote is still funny everything happens for a reason. Sometimes the reason is you're stupid and make bad decisions. Marion G. Harmon Technically everything happens for a reason due to how our universe works, cause and effect. I am physically challenged, if anyone ever tells me that everything happens for a reason I will kick them in their kneecaps and tell them to think about why that happened. Worse than that it was God's plan. My granddad says he's a big believer in that, but it's very easy for him to think it because he can look back on his life and see how it all joined up and it worked out well. When I've just lost my job it's hard to see the happy ending. That being said, he means it as a comfort so I'm not offended by it. Humans don't like chaos or not knowing the answer, it's one of the reasons why we have so many religions, to explain the unexplainable. Your post happened for a reason. Yes. Because bone cancer in a 12-year-old is all part of God's plan. I got a mixture of it's God's plan and everything happens for a reason when my son died. Fuck both of these quotes. I would agree for the most part though I would amend the entire statement. Many of life's challenges happen for a reason. Tragedies and challenges are vastly different. Or a victim of SA. Right, for a reason. Well, the reason is that every single essay perpetrator is evil scum, but that's hardly what that shitty phrase implies. I think this statement offensive level is contextual. More often than not the statement actually gives faith and comfort to those facing personal tragedy. However if it is thrown to someone grieving someone's death, yes, that is very offensive. Thank you OMG. I have had this opinion for a while now, even made a post on here about it. It only lets people believe the world is out to get them and that deserve this happiness to them. Sometimes bad things just happen, trauma doesn't need a reason to happen. The world is a chaotic place and trying to apply some type of grand divine power or order to the world. It's meant to make us well better but it doesn't. It only leads people to be hurt more. It's also extremely delusional. I subscribe to that mindset for everyday trivialities, like, personal struggles for me. Because it helps me to face things if I feel like a disappointment is somehow leading me in the right direction. It's not something I would ever say to someone else though. More a personal mantra to help me cope, I recognize that doesn't extend to horrific tragedies such as a death etc. Childhood leukemia does happen for a reason. The reason is complicated biochemistry and does not comfort anyone. I agree. But I also know that most people just say this as a lazy way to sympathize when they don't know what else to say. I let it slide and move along. To the people responding with T-E-C-H-N-I-Q-L-Y everything does have a reason. Cause and effect. Don't be dense. OP clearly is referring to those who cite a higher power justification. It is frustrating. It doesn't have to be a good reason but everything does truly happen for some kind of reason. 
so the statement per se is true. How would I speak to a dead child? Or that you're only given what you can handle bullshit. A friend told me something along those lines after my house burned down, which came shortly after my aunt passed away. And I really really wanted to throw them out the window. I get that you're trying to reassure me by saying I'm strong enough to overcome this because the big man upstairs has a plan and knows my limits, but that's the problem I'm not entirely sure he even exists and even if he did nobody needs to go through extreme hardship to fulfill some master plan. Agree, it absolutely is offensive. I don't buy the good intent excuse that I've seen in some of the comments. PPL should be more empathetic and do fucking better. There is never a reason for children being in pain or dying other than the complete, sometimes shitty, randomness of the universe. Children shouldn't suffer to fulfill some cosmic destiny. Agreed I hope this isn't that unpopular. That statement has always bothered me. Regardless of the fact that it's ridiculous, it is a slap in the face to people who've experienced awful things like what you mention above. I have a friend who lost her long-term boyfriend to a sudden illness and people kept saying this to her. How do they think it's a good idea to tell a grieving person this? Agreed. This has got to be the most vapid, shitty expression with no real meaning. It's almost as awful as God works in mysterious ways, especially when used to come up with an explanation as to why kids get cancer, starve to death or some other depressing shit that happens. TSK 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 I literally hate this statement. It's one of the worst things to say to someone who is struggling and is super invalidating. Some clouds don't have silver linings, they just are clouds things that should be taken at face value. What role bad things have is more like a train they may derail you or you just keep going chugging ahead because you have to. This isn't unpopular. Most people consider this to be a dick move to say especially to someone mourning a death. Except certain super-religious people. It depends on the person it's coming from. This actually helped me when my mom was in an accident that killed her but only when it came from people who were close to my mom and I. If an acquaintance or stranger said that to me I would politely nod while steaming below the surface. Even better is when they tell you that reason and it's complete bullshit. No Karen, I'm not diabetic because God is punishing me for being such a sinful little six-year-old, I'm diabetic because my pancreas doesn't fucking work. Add in it is what it is, for good measure. Seriously. I completely agree. As someone who grew a brain tumor and had to have brain surgery at a very young age, the amount of times I heard it was in God's plan was asinine. Honestly it's a big factor in why I'm no longer Christian. It's basically filler talk when people don't care, can't say better, or can't think of anything. It's just like, it'll get better, that sucks, it is what it is, that must be hard. This post happened for a reason. Nothing happens for a reason, the universe is fucking chaos. Embrace it. Life is short. Eat a bagel. I say things happen for a reason, but I'm not dumb or emotionally stunted enough to say that to someone who is going through a tragedy. If I ever had a child that died for whatever reason and some nut tells me it happened for a reason. I'm going to prison because I will beat the absolute fucking shit out of them. I'd call it more total bullshit than offensive. I have family members and close friends who've had stillbirths and all had this said to them shortly after birthing their deceased child. I've never wanted to punch people so badly. Also God never gives you more than you can handle. Just because it offends you doesn't mean it has no worth or solace to someone else. Can it, this isn't unpopular. I agree with the general sentiment but one of the most offensive statements. I can think of several more offensive statements off the top of my head. Your husband was a piece of shit and I'm glad he's dead. Your girlfriend was a slut and is burning in hell right now. Well, at least you have one less mouth to feed. It's kind of your fault if you think about it. Just get over it. Fuck you. It's just as hard for white people as it is for black people. Dot I could go on. 
Oh you just need to have faith, look at all the Jews who were exterminated everything happens for a reason I bet they all had faith that they'd be saved by someone or something. I too hate that statement.